Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this is a really fun experiment to do with fractals. You can make really cool and crazy renders with it just by choosing a basic object. So, this file will be out on my Patreon if you want to get it. But okay, let's get started. So, I'm going to create a new file. So, the first thing we're going to do is choose our primitive object. So I'm going to going to use an echo sphere like on the oh, like on the original project. Or you can even go on geometries because that we're going to be using and then create new and you just type what you want to so, echo sphere right over here. Okay, so now I get one subdivision, and that's what I wanted. So, for it's really easy to make fractals. You just need two nodes. Removing this one, so first in an instance on points. So instance on points, and then I draw geometry. So. Giant geometry, not giant strings. So I'm going to plug the mesh into the instance and the mesh into the geometry. Now let's just mess that on one setting, which is this one. And I'm going to put it 0.4. You get some really cool results. That's what I used for the original one. And now if you hold shift and use the right button on the mouse, and you can draw a line and then cut this and that makes for better results so now we got one we're going to repeat this one more time it's really easy you just duplicate this put this geometry into here and then this geometry into here done you got yourself some really cool looking fractals so for the next step, if you want to get more organized, you can just press Ctrl G or Ctrl J. Ctrl J will create a frame and then Ctrl G will create a group. So I'm going to press Ctrl J just to get a, a frame. So now if you want you can use the wireframe, but I am more of a geometry notes person so I will do I will make a wireframe using geometry nodes. So I'm going to turn this mesh into a curve. So mesh to curve. And then I'm going to put those two. So curve to mesh. And now if you see it's all black and weird. But you can see some kind of wireframe going on. So we got all those lines, now we need to make them become geometry so we can see on the final render. So I'm going to put a curved circle so this is uh, the resolution, I'm going to put a tree but you can change that, it's your pref preference this is for the how much, it's like a cylinder but then you should, yeah, that's the resolution of the cylinder. And then the ra for the radius, just put 0 0.08 or 9. So like this. And then we finally put this into the profile curve. Okay, so now we got some wiggle already looking. If you want, you can just hold shift and lower that because if you don't hold shift, it's just really hard to make it. So yeah, 0 0.06 I think is better. But now everything is shaded smooth and I don't want that. You can want it, but I don't want it. <laughs> so I'm going to put a set sheet move. Because that, that's how you that's how it works in jump node if you are not using the group input for your base jump. Because this, like if I press shade move or shade flat right here, it's shedding the base jump, but I'm using this geometry so it won't work. Okay, so enough of explaining, and uh, let's just try this and check this, check, like, do not check this thing. 
And then as you can see, it's not shaded move anymore. But there's one more thing. I'm going to add a material, so set material. So set material right here. And I'm just going to create a material right here. So if you as you can see it's happening the same thing again, we're setting this to the initial geometry, but we are using the icon sphere. And so we need to set the material of the icon sphere here. And I like to do it at the end because we didn't use actually the icons here. For we just used for a base mesh, but then we use this like this curve. So just put it on the end. And then it's just material. And now we can finally get out from George Notes. Or you, you can even use the group input and plug what you want to customize, like if you want the subdivisions of the icosphere you can put it right here or you can put maybe the radius right here and then change move and material yeah so now everything is customizable right up here everything that we need so i'm going to go on the layout again and you just need to add a if you want to know how to do this you can just go on my other tutorial which is I show you how to add backgrounds so I'm just going to do this using the asset library that I created which I don't show in the tutorial but okay let's now add the background I'm going to put a plane and then bring this up so it's sitting it's not interacting with the plane so now I'm going to scale this by six because that's a good size and then I'm going to put this and extra good on the Z so easy and then I'm going to bevel right here on the back and then just bevel everything and then I'm going to shade this move so now we get everything we can look at the render view it's horrible so I use cycles for it if you don't have if you don't have anything to use cycles, you can use Eevee, of course, but I prefer using cycles sometimes. So for the material of this object, I'm just going to go on Eevee really fast and remove this. So I'm going to put half metallic, I never had done this before, and then the roughness 180, 0.180. So now we got this really cool looking kind of metallic material. And then for the background, I'm using this technique now, where I just put really close to black art, this dark gray, and then I bring the roughness all the way up. So that's really gives an illusion of an infinite background. So now for the camera, I just add a camera. I can see right now, so right over here. And then I go where I want the camera to look. And then I press Control R number pad zero. That's really good to remember. And then you can just move it around if you want to add the um, final touches. And then I'm just going to rotate this so it covers everything. Yeah. So now if we go on Cycle View, it's just like the original project. So. Yeah, if you want this file, you can go to my Patreon. And if you want more content like this, call my channel and subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. So, yeah, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.